All right. So this is going to be a Capricorn Sun Moon and as well uh, rising a love and relationship tarot reading December twenty third to December 29th, uh, two thousand and nineteen. And uh, if you do want to get in touch with me, guys, for a personal reading or you want to check your business and career tarot reading for that very same week, you can check the description, the description down below where uh, you're going to find both links uh, that, that are going to lead you either to my website or to the other video of the week. So that being said, let's see what you have in store for love. First card of the week, this is going to be the topic itself. We do have the Sun card. The next one is going to refer to the energy supporting it. And we do have the Two of Cups. And it's, it's kind of like getting warmer, warmer isn't it? Uh, the next one, it is the challenges. Let's see what we have here. And well, that is going to be the Star card. And um, it's a very trivial and typical situation what we have at your uh, disposal here, Capricorn, followed by the fourth one, which is the gift and the blessing. And that will be the Ten of Cups. Uh, we do have a similar reading for a sign uh, this week. And we're talking about um, unfolding love here, really. It's, it's kind of like a, 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 that's the blessing. So uh, the next one, it is how the others are going to see you. And we do have the lovers. Oh my God. I mean, guys, that if someone came for a reading, for a love reading and had those cards, this is like winning the lottery. All right. So how the other sees you, how the, your um, interest seeing you, how your partner is seeing you, how your friends or family seeing you, that will be the lovers card. Uh, furthermore, we do have what is going to help your long-term goal. Uh, we do have the Knight of Cups, long-term relationship goal, that is. Afterwards, this is what is going to uh, hurt your long-term relationship goal. That is going to be the Temperance. And the last one, it is the Guidance that Tara is offering to you relationship-wise. We have the Two of Wands. Oh my God, I don't know where to start from even. It's kind of like, it's ridiculously positive. You, those who are following me for a long time, they know that I tend to see the things from a bit gloomer perspective. And that is for a reason so I can warn you to prevent bad things to happen. It's not because I want to uh, kind of diminish your spirit or anything. But it's literally there is nothing bad I can say about this reading apart from the third card. And this is only because uh, it falls into challenging position. All right. So we do have uh, these two here, which are the topic and the energies. And they can speak only one thing. That is a growing love. Any way you see it. All right. Any way you see it, we do have a growing one. However, uh, there could be either shyness or as well uh, how do you say it when you um kind of find it when you think that you have done more than you have to and now you are waiting for the other one to do something but in the same time they are thinking the same thing as well that they have done more than more than they had to and it's kind of like that, that that situation sits on a stalemate so you should not let that thing to happen this here points to a um submission in a sense of that whatever arguments you had in between you and your partner in between you and your person of interest those arguments are going to be settled down or they will no longer going to influence a future relationship in uh, relationship development so it's um it's time to bury down the hatchets all right it's time to make it up it's time to reach out it's what those cards are pointing additionally to that the things in between you and the beloved person you have are going to uh, unfold very very naturally and with those two cards i suggest you to spend as much time as you can with them because the time you spend with them is going to be exceptionally good i mean it's not just a quality time it is a preposterously good 
time that you're going to have with them. And that only is going to amplify the passion, the expanding energies of growth for in between you two and the process of falling in love. And I do believe that this is what we all want at the end of the day. So the other card, it is the challenges, and that is going to be the star card. And the only negative thing that I can say here, it is uh, the hope that that what you are going to have throughout this week can be sustained for a long run. And um, additionally to that, that you will have support from the peripheral people like, uh, you know, friends, family and, and so on and so forth. But that is just a challenge and you need to challenge it and you need to overcome it. So it's like, no, don't be skeptical because the star card, I kind of points to that kind of a state in a challenging position. Oh, and one more thing. Now, the star, the star card could represent a uh, in that position high ideals, unreachable ideals, and unfulfillable expectations. And um, you have to remember, Capricorn, that we are all humans. We all do mistakes. Okay, but out of those mistakes, sometimes the most beautiful things happen. All right, so. Having a bit of shred of um, option of forgiveness, it will serve you best. Now, the next one, it is the gift and the blessing. And that is the gift and the blessing of the Ten of Cups. Pretty self-explanatory. We're talking about uh, the long-term uh, emotional fulfillment where you are not going to need anything else anymore. It's like reaching out the, the end of the destination for one's expectations of one relationship can be. So, oh my God, I forgot to I, I forgot to say, for those who are entirely single, well, those cards are uh, signifying the appearance of someone new. And in any case, in either of the cases here, the Ten of Cups points that this week bless you with a, um, with a sign or with an opportunity to reach that end of a destination of your expectations for a relationship. Okay, so you can you can start manifesting the the relationship you want, the the, the stereo the stereotype of relationship you want. And what you're gonna find at the end is that this isn't the end. Actually, that thing can grow even beyond your expectations. So it's kind of like beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> I, it is. So uh, the next one, it's uh, how the other sees you, how your partner sees you, how your person of interest sees you, or how the person who is going to come about is going to see you. Lover's card. Well, a bit of a contradictory here. Uh, it is because these people are going to see you a bit different than what they were expecting or what their first impression were. However, these differences, instead of opening gaps and cracks in between you two, they are going to make you more and more special for one another because you're going to become one whole. And that is the biggest insight one can have into relationship. Now, the lover's card, I will explain it again. In my lives and in many other readings, people are asking me to explain the lover's card and what is the difference in between the lovers and the two of cups. Because you have them both, I will explain them to you. So two of cups, it is that kind of a love where we all experience, you know, kind of the love where we have similar interests and the kind we, we move into similar social circles and all that. The lovers, however, are when two opposites collide. Now with the two of cups, if you and your partner are two fists, okay, with the lovers, one is the fist, the other is the fist pull, and you both form one whole. It's as simple as that. So uh, instead of uh, what I'm trying to say here is that although this person of interest or your partner is going to recognize that you do both have your differences, instead of them running as fast as they can, as a way as they can, they are going to embrace those differences. So you have nothing to be afraid of reposing back your, uh, your love. So the other card here, it is uh, what is going to help your long-term relationship go. Nothing much to say about the Knights of Cups unless uh, that's um, this one that says that they love you. They love you and you have to better believe it and you have to follow it. 
It's as simple as that. Now, the problem is when there is more than one person and I guess that this could also cause a, a stalemate, okay? And in that case, unfortunately, there is no solution that is going to be presented to you this week. Uh, let me check. No. But um, probably for the next one. Or maybe you alone are going to uh, come to understanding whom to proceed with. But um, here, what is going to further your long term goal uh, relationship wise with the Knights of Cups, it, I do believe it does speak to you, Capricorn, that you need to cherish the feelings of your heart and follow them wherever you go. The other card, it represents uh, what is going to hurt your long term goal. That is going to be the temperance card. And here it does speaks for self compromises. It's like uh, it's literally not allowing yourself to, yourself to be happy. Um, how can I say it? Because for one or another reason, you may think that you don't deserve it or you may think that the other person don't, don't deserve it. All right. And that way, um, you are destroying otherwise a beautiful development that follows completely self-imposed. You, you pretty much cause self-destruction here. So it's, why don't we have to always be uh, biased instead of just enjoying the moment? And it is all that it is asked from you here. Uh, and the last one stands for the guidance that Tara is offering to you Capricorns for that uh, week of really unfolding love it is what we do have true unfolding love uh we have all the all the cards there and uh, that is going to be the two of wands so the two of wands tells us that as soon as uh, you know you identify and you give yourself to it completely i mean to the love uh then you have to kind of show your true nature in a sense of that uh, how can I say it? You need to uh, reveal your expectations, uh, where what you want to achieve, where you want to live, uh, live, for example, uh, how far you want to go with that relationship, at least for the time being. Like I said, your expectations are going to be exceeded, but just for the sake of not disappointing your future partner or your current partner unpleasantly here it is important for you to share your plans with them and together you glance scope and reconnoiter a new field of development into this beautiful otherwise relationship so it was a uh, quite exciting one and once again that is the uh, uh the the lottery the, the the lottery ticket here i don't think i ever had in a reading in a, such a good alignment if i had at all two of cups ten of cups the lovers and the star it's just the only thing that was missing here okay was the world on this on the sixth position of what is going to help your long-term goal okay which uh its absence right now it speaks for the path that you do have to walk what i mean is that it's not going to happen over a night it's not like you say okay we're going to be together and you instantly end up together there are th things that you need to settle settle around probably you know uh, it's going to take time. This is what I'm trying to say here, Capricorn. But other than that, it seems that the circumstances for you are just right to finally answer the call of your heart. So yeah, that being said, this was your love and relationship tarot reading for a December 23rd to December 29th, 2019. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, Capricorns. And um, if you are interested in a private reading with me or... Uh, you want to check out your business and career tarot reading, you can check the description down below in this video and there you're going to find both links to my website and as well to your other video, well, video of the week. That being said, I hope that we're going to see each other around and until then, bye.